Sophia has $640 in her savings account, and she has to pay $30 each month to her parents for her cell phone. Arturo has $310, and he saves $25 each month from his job walking dogs for his neighbor. At this rate, when will Sophia and Arturo have the same amount of money, and how much will they each have? Let's first define the variables to represent the unknowns. Let's let S equal the balance of Sophia's savings account. Let's let A equal the balance of Arturo's savings account. And then finally we'll let X equal the number of months. And now I'll write an equation for the balance of Sophia's account as well as Arturo's account. So for Sophia's account, S, the balance, is equal to the starting balance of $640. And then because she's paying her parents $30 each month, and X is the number of months, the balance would be 640 minus 30 times X, or minus 30X. And now for the equation for Arturo's balance, we would have A equals the starting balance of $310, but then he is saving $25 each month from his job, and therefore Arturo's balance would be 310 plus 25X. Now we're asked to determine when will Sophia and Arturo have the same amount of money. Well, that would occur when their balances are the same, or when 640 minus 30x equals 310 plus 25x. So we need to solve the equation 640 minus 30x equals 310 plus 25x. Solve for x, we need the x terms on the same side of the equation. So let's go ahead and subtract 25x on both sides of the equation. Notice how this will move the x terms to the left side, and therefore at the same time let's also subtract 640 on both sides. So simplifying, this would be zero. Negative 30x minus 25x is negative 55x. On the right side, we have 310 minus 640, which is negative 330. And 25x minus 25x is zero. So the last step to solve for x is to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by negative 55. Dividing by negative 55 undoes multiplying by negative 55, and therefore the left side simplifies to x, or Negative 55 divided by negative 55 is one, one times x is x, and therefore x equals this quotient, negative 330 divided by negative 55 is equal to six. So now we know after six months or in six months, the two balances will be the same. To determine the common balance, we need to substitute six for x in either equation because both equations should give us the same balance. Let's go ahead and show that. Substituting six for x in the first equation, we have s equals 640 minus 30 times six, which is equal to 640 minus 180, which equals 460. And let's also make sure we get the same balance for Arturo's savings account. So we'd have a equals 310 plus 25 times six, which is equal to 310 plus 150, which again is 460. So now we know that in six months, they will both have $460. I hope you found this helpful.